able to continue. Uh, but as we mentioned before, we are able to hold uh, up to 15 minutes and still be able to lift off today. Yeah, on Falcon 9, it's a little bit different. Once we start propellant loading, we pretty much have to go at the targeted time. Otherwise, the propellants can warm up. <laughs> Chamber pressure is nominal. Two point forty three seconds into the test flight of the inaugural Starship vehicle. Tower clear. We're into pitch over. The pulsing reports first stage engines nominal. What a sight from the ground cameras at Starbase. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. We're throttled down and throttled back up. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. A hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be set down of the first stage. The Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Booster engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. where Starship should separate from the Super Heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that Everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> as we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, <laughs> but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we...